This video will show you how to determine whether a molecule is polar or not. A bond is polar if there is a difference in electronegativity between the two atoms bonded together. If you remember from class, the trend in electronegativity is as follows. Electronegativity increases going from left to right and bottom to top of the periodic table. Therefore, fluorine is much more electronegative than carbon. However, even if a molecule has polar bonds, it is not necessarily a polar molecule. In certain situations, individual bond dipoles can cancel out due to molecular geometry. Now, let's look at some examples of molecules and determine whether they are polar or not. To start, let's look at HCl. Chlorine is much more electronegative than hydrogen. This means the whole molecule is polar. You can draw arrows showing polar bonds, with the arrowhead pointing to the more electronegative atom. This shows the direction of electron pull. Next, let's look at methane, CH4. It is important to know the molecular shape of a molecule to determine polarity, in order to see if the bond dipoles cancel out or not. Methane, for example, is a tetrahedral molecule. Carbon and hydrogen, however, have similar electronegativities, so the bonds in methane are nonpolar and the molecule is too. However, if we replace one of the hydrogens with a chlorine, this changes. The chlorine is more electronegative than the carbon, so the bond is polar. This means that the whole molecule is now polar. Next, if we replace all of the hydrogens with chlorines, we have CCl4. All of the bonds are now polar, however, due to the molecular shape, they all cancel out and CCl4 is a nonpolar molecule. Finally, let's look at water versus carbon dioxide. This is where knowing molecular shape comes in handy once again. Water is a bent molecule. As shown. Oxygen is more electronegative than hydrogen, therefore the bonds are polar. We can draw them like this. As you can see, due to the bent shape, there is an overall molecule dipole, and water is polar molecule. Carbon dioxide, on the other hand, is a linear molecule, as shown. Oxygen is more electronegative than carbon, so we can draw the arrows like this. As you can see, the bonds are polar, but the shape means that the individual bond dipoles cancel out. Therefore, carbon dioxide is a nonpolar molecule. Now you know how to tell if a molecule will be polar or not. Good luck and have fun!